Right, today is going to be all about reducing that cellulite. So if you've been looking in the mirror lately and have been seeing that cellulite, this will be a great one to really start to shape and give you that more lifted, tighter toned look in your legs. So what you're going to need for today is you're going to want to grab your booty bands. These that I'm featuring down below, they are made high quality, they're woven material, they will last you forever, um, super comfortable. And what's great about them is there's all four different levels. So that's really awesome because not all, not everybody has four different levels with booty bands. All right. So great. You've got some really good star reviews on these ones. The next one I'm going to go into is the dumb, the dumbbells. We'll be using that into today's workout as well. So the dumbbells, you can have and be light. You can see the small ones, the purple ones over here. And the purple weight just itself is three pounds where the teals are five pounds and then the pink plates are 10 and the black is 15. So that's a different amount of weights and you can also see it written actually on here as well. So you can kind of see like what weight they are. Cool. So that's the dumbbells. We will also be using the barbell. Now the barbell is going to be a really cool one for today's workout. All about the hamstring. This is one where you can either use the barbell or the balls, then it works phenomenal. Your, your hamstrings are probably gonna be a little sore if you haven't done this one in a while, but I highly, highly, highly recommend it because it will really give you that nice, good sculpted look. Here's a little barbell pad you could use. We will be doing some bridge hip thrusts. Yeah, lifting that weight with those hips. So you wanna make sure to grab those. These long bands are really cool. I don't have them right here. I can't ever seem to keep them in here because everybody loves to take them all the time, but they're awesome. So this is great for some upper body ones. And then of course, like a yoga mat for now, okay? And we will obviously be having a protein shake right after our workout. So make sure that you have protein right after your workout within about 30 minutes because that's where it will fuel your muscle, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's workout. We're gonna start with a booty band. I like to start off with your level one. You could even um, go to a level two depending on how, what your level is as far as fitness goes. This one, I still use all four different levels and it really kind of depends on what workout I'm doing. It depends on like what range of motion I'm really looking for. So this one is just such a great one. All right. So go ahead and grab your booty band, place it up onto your legs. I'm going to go ahead and just get the music started. So that way we can get the party started. If you know what I mean. All right, baby girl, let's go into it. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go into the right leg and you're going to go into a kickback. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're just going to flex that right foot. You can either use a chair or a wall to help you balance or your core. If you're advanced, you'll just use your core for this. Okay. Still use your core. Um, so just right now, just take your belly button and just bring it towards your spine, flex that right foot and you're just going to kick it straight back. Now you don't want your foot to be right over your other one. Obviously try to keep it hip distance. So hip distance, kick it back. Okay. Here we go. So we're going to just really connect to that booty, those hamstrings. You know it, girl. Let's do it. And we always know that with the booty bands and barbells workouts, we always start off with thinking positive. So what is a positive affirmation that you need to hear today? Maybe you've been beating yourself up mentally, telling yourself you're not good enough, you're not worthy, ugh, et cetera, et cetera. Like what have you been doing to beat yourself up? Right now, reverse those thoughts and think of something really empowering to say instead. Maybe it is, I am enough. That's a big one. All right, now that we've done the one straight back, we're gonna go at a diagonal now. So flex that foot and kick it out to the back and side. So just kind of the back of the room to the corner. And should you be feeling your standing leg? Yes, mamacita, because that standing leg is what's stabilizing you, working your stabilizer muscles so you'll be feeling your other booty as well, okay? Good, keep going, keep going. You're doing awesome. Good. Now we're going to go to the other side because that leg needs to rest. All right. So other side, kick it straight back again, hip distance. So I'm not bringing that foot across like this. I'm making it. So when I kick back, my foot is like this in my hips. Okay. Does that make sense? Good. Flex that foot, squeeze the booty as you were doing it. Now you'll notice I am leaning a little bit forward and I'm engaging my core. You are getting an ab exercise every time you do a workout with me, because I'm going to make sure that you're embracing your core. That is a corset to every single one of your workouts. And if a personal trainer has not told you that 
you can fire them because that's essentially the key of really getting a small waist while working out. You don't have to do a bunch of sit-ups. It's really about just keeping your core nice and tight while you do all the other workouts. Okay, next. So we just did straight back. Now we're gonna go to the angle. So flex that foot and go to the corner of the room. So kick it to the side and back. Good, now again, if you need to hold on to a chair or a wall or your couch right now, that is totally fine, but don't let your core go, okay? That is where your balance is right now. So keep that going. Oh, you feel that other standing leg right now? Ooh. Yes, girl, okay, good work. Now what we're gonna do, one of my favorites here, really getting into that booty right now. Okay, we're gonna go into a squat with a step. That's just one. And then you're gonna go to the other side, all right? Now we're gonna do two. So step it one, two. Now do that to the other side, so we gotta go back. Now we're gonna do three, nice and low. Good work. Now we're gonna do three again where it's a pyramid set. So we're gonna go all the way down. Three back. Good, stay nice and low, booties back. Now we're only at two, two. And now we're gonna go to one. Ooh, yeah, get that booty. Get that cellulite. Awesome, so we just did a nice little warm up. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do some hit. Now you guys know I'm all about cut the fat, keep the curves. So now we're gonna go 30 seconds, have something high intensity, Anything you want, but it's 30 seconds, so I want you out of breath. I'm gonna turn the music up, so you choose whatever it is you wanna do. Let's begin, ready? And if that didn't get your heart rate up and your endorphins going, then I don't know what we will. All right, time to party. All right, so next round, same thing, a little bit harder this time. So we were using level one. Try to pick up a little, little heavier band at this point, okay? So I'm gonna go for level two, or even the mermaid band would be a good one for this too. Mermaid's kinda in the middle of level one and level two. So grab your teal booty band. Same thing that we just did. We're gonna repeat it now. Try to see if we can use our core a little bit more for balance this time. Ready? Now, since you know what we're doing, I'm gonna turn the music up, embrace your core, make sure you feel your booty. Let's go. Oh, I'm ready. Kick it back. That's it. To the side, at the angle. Good, other leg. All right, at the angle. Here we go, take it nice and low. Let's go, singles, double. Back to three. 
Get it, open that band. Look at my knees going against it. Two, two, and last one right here. One, one. Oh my goodness. All right, that brings us now to the end of our warm up, and we're gonna start off now with our hit. 30 seconds, high intensity, anything you choose, but I want you to get it to the point that you're so out of breath, okay? This is where we're gonna start to cut the fat and keep all those beautiful curves of yours, all right? So anything you want to do for the next 30 seconds, I'm gonna turn up the music, listen to your body. If I'm doing something that you can't do, you just modify, that's it. Let's go. Bringing your heart rate slowly down, kind of still walking it out, dancing it out. This is where you're gonna grab some water. We're gonna go to the first part of our workout for today. And what you're gonna need for this is your barbell or a ball. But I personally love the barbell because you can use it for hundreds and thousands of workouts and you're gonna be building lean muscle. Hence, cutting the fat, cutting the fat keeping the curves. I'm out of breath. That's exactly where I want you to be. Right now, sweaty, can't breathe, okay? Can't breathe, can't talk. You can leave your booty band on for this one. I suggest probably around like a level two or level three for this one. Your weight on the barbell does not per se have to be really heavy for this, okay? I have um, a black and a pink set on there. So my black set is 30 pounds with my 10 is a total of 50, how to count, okay? All right, so 50 pounds is what I have on my barbell today. You can go ahead and see it right here, all right? So let's go ahead and just bring it down to the mat. I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. All right, so go ahead and take your barbell and slide it up right underneath your booty and then you're gonna bring your legs up and over it, okay? Then you're gonna go ahead and lay down your heels are gonna be pressing into the bar itself, or if you'd like to put it into the middle of your shoes is great, but I personally like my heels onto it because that's where I can feel most in my booty and my hamstrings, okay? Really, you don't need the booty band on for this. I like it because it keeps my legs in alignment as I do it, but your choice, okay? So we'll do whatever works for you. Okay, as the bar is nice and close to you, you wanna break, you wanna brace yourself. So bring your hands down as you lift your booty up in the air with your heels connected to the bar. You're gonna slowly bring it out. Now, if you're a beginner, don't straighten your legs out, okay? No hyperextending those legs. And then just a little small, and then bring it in. Oh my gosh, can you feel that in the hamstrings? Yes, baby girl. Bring it out, squeeze it in. Again, try to have your hamstrings doing all the work. Yes. Keep that booty nice and high. Oh yeah, this is my second time doing this today, so I think I'm gonna be really sore. Now if you're a beginner, just listen to your body. If you feel like you just need to do a few reps and then rest for a little bit, that's fine. I'll get you on the next round, don't you worry. Make sure you're breathing, don't hold that breath. Oh, you feel it? Oh my gosh, this is a cellulite killer right here. My legs are shaking, how are yours? Oh, okay, I have to bring it down, stretch them out. Oh, a little point and flex, oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna go right into it. So super set with a bridge. So what you're gonna do now is just um, slide your legs underneath the bar. I have the barbell pad on here as well, so it's the next product over if you want. You can just go ahead and bring the bar up onto your hips, roll it down again. Same situation here, the bar, the, the, uh, your feet are nice and close to your booty. Dig your heels into the mat. 
All I'm doing with my hands is just making sure it's on my hips, that's it, okay? Do not lift the bar with your arms. You want your booty to do all the work. So drop the booty, lift the booty, open the legs, close the legs, drop the booty, that's it, okay? Here we go, up, out, in, down, that's it, let's go. It's nice, slow and controlled. Again, digging your heels in, and if you cannot fill your booty, try to see if you can open your legs a little bit more, maybe move your heels around, make any little micro movement so you can connect to your booty. Something that's also really important here is you wanna try to really bring your hips into like a C curve. So instead of like having an arch in your lower back, take that lower arch out and bring your hips up. That takes that little curvature out of your back and keeps you in the right place to get that booty firing. Good, keep going. Oh my goodness. Oh, my booty's on fire right now. How's yours? Okay, now we're little pulses and then we're done, okay? So bring it all the way to the top and you're just gonna pulse for me. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Bring your heels into the mat and your hips all the way to the ceiling. All the way, all the little pulses, keep going. Oh my gosh, my butt is burning. Okay, as you can see, complete failure right there. I couldn't even finish it. All right, so go ahead and just roll the barbell off. Oh, thank riddance to that. Now, that, that is finishing our first set. We're gonna go now into anything hit. So anything you can do, I'd probably recommend nothing on the glutes because at that point you just burned your glutes out. So anything without the glutes, 30 seconds, I'm turning the music up. Let's go. A little faster. Ah, oh, good work. And grab some water. Because we still have our next round. Same thing that we just did but I want you to add a little heavier weight to your barbell this time, okay? We did a street fair <clears throat> of a blind taste testing of the protein shake against all the other competitors. It won every single time, you guys, every single time. We had moms, we had kids, husbands, grandmas, grandpas, like everything, and it was so cool how it won. We'll, we'll uh, have the video out soon. Okay, so take your barbell, and I want you to load up your weight, because I know you can. So unclasp, and let's see how heavy we can go. I remember when I was really afraid of lifting heavy weights. I thought it'd make me big and bulky. <laughs> uh, those were the days. I did only cardio. Well, pretty girl, I can tell ya. My results came so much faster when I let go of that belief. Now I'm lifting um, hundreds of weights on my glutes and I love the feeling. Okay, so how much weight am I doing right now? So I've got, let's see, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I got 90 going on right now. It's not the my most, but I don't want to one max myself right now. Okay, so do something that's gonna challenge yourself, okay? Then snap those clamps in place. Take your barbell pad off for right now. And then we're gonna go back into my favorite ones. Oh, you know what's coming. You know what's coming. All right, now you know. Okay, so we're gonna do the rollouts. We're gonna go into the bridges, um, the pulses in the bridges, and then we're gonna go back into hit. So I'm just gonna turn the music up. I'm gonna let you zone out while I zone out too. Really make your glutes feel this one. I'll see you when we're done. Here we go.
Oh my goodness, how are you feeling over there? <laughs> you doing good? Good, we're gonna bring it down and go into a nice, beautiful stretch. Just me and you. <sighs> Just focusing on drinking our protein shake right after our workout, fueling our muscles so that we are gonna get the best results. So just take it down to the mat and focus on these nice, good stretches with me. You're gonna go ahead and place your right shin in front of the other shin. Now, if you like, you can just even whip your shoes off for this, okay? You're gonna put your right shin in front of your left. Nice, big, deep breath, reaching the arms up. Exhale as you go ahead and walk those hands forward. Awesome, walk that, those hands back up. You're gonna take your left hand, placing it onto your right knee, twisting and looking back behind you. Good, now you're gonna go ahead and take that right leg and place it up onto your left leg. Okay, nice big deep breath, inhale it up. And you're just gonna go at a side where you're gonna go towards that right knee Good work, bringing it up. You're just going to take the left hand, hug the right knee as you look behind you. Good work, now we're gonna do everything now on the left side. So the left leg is gonna come forward. Nice, good deep breath in through the nose as you exhale, lean it forward. Walking it up, taking that right hand over to the left knee, twist and look behind you. Just focusing on taking some nice, good cleansing, deep breaths. Thinking on all the positive thoughts and the feelings that are now coming over your body and allowing yourself to start to really transition your life just by having those nice, good thoughts to yourself and allowing the feelings to come in. Beautiful work. You're gonna take that left ankle and now put it on top of that left right knee. Big inhale. Reach those arms up as you exhale, bring it down. You're doing so good. Now you're just gonna take that left leg and you're just gonna put the foot onto the ground. You can go ahead and just hold it with your right arm as you go ahead and twist and look behind you. Twisting towards the bent knee that is up. Beautiful. Now you're gonna just go ahead and take that right knee and you're gonna send it back behind you as that left knee is forward. Go ahead and just bring it down. You can bring it down to your elbows. You can bring it down to your chest, lay it completely flat down, whatever feels best for you. And now switch it over to the other side so the other leg comes in as the other leg is bent back almost like a lightning bolt and then bring it down to the other side. Now you're gonna go check out in the mirror like, hey, is my cellulite reduced? And you're gonna say yes. And the reason why is because of these three components, all right, we just did today. One, 
you build lean muscle in the area. When you build the lean muscle, it's going to be burning calories even up to three times faster than if you didn't do the workout today. So that's the good news is that your muscle today that we did is going to burn six calories per one pound of muscle versus only two calories with fat per muscle. So that means it's three times more metabolically active. So we will be burning fat in our sleep tonight. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's right. Work smarter, not harder. And what's so beautiful about that is you'll be shrinking your waist in today's workout. A lot of people don't know that, but what we did today is we focused a lot on our hamstrings and our glutes and our legs which is a big muscle group. And when we do those and we can feel it and especially those compound exercises, our butts on fire, just know what you're doing is you're building that lean muscle, giving you that nice, beautiful shaped glute. Meanwhile, really shrinking the waist. I have never found my waist smaller when I started lifting more weight. So when they say that muscle makes you bulky, take a look at me and ask if I look bulky, <laughs> right? Do I look manly to you? No, and I was lifting 100 pounds earlier. So let's be honest with each other. It's really about getting our goals faster. And the fitness industry hasn't taught us this because they make money when we stay not fit, all right? So um, this is now the day and age where women are starting to really recognize that lifting weights is gonna get us faster to our results. And I have been off and on podcasts with doctors, physical therapists, nutritionists, and um, people that are specialized in aging adults, and they're taking all of the cardio equipment away, and they're giving them resistance bands and weights instead. Isn't that a sign, right? So that was one key on what we did today is we built our lean muscle. The second thing that we did today is we focused on high intensity interval training. So what we did is we oxygen depleted ourselves, which is going to make it so we also burn 24 to 48 hour uh, calories. So we're going to be staying in that fat burning zone even after our workout right now. We are still losing fat right now as I'm talking to you. Isn't that cool? So we did that, that is our second secret. And the third and final secret, make sure you guys are fueling your muscles correctly. All right, so this is a plant-based protein powder. We just did a taste testing challenge. It was phenomenal, you guys. We had husbands and wives and kids straight up coming out of nowhere, like coming up saying, hey, um, uh, we were like, hey, come try our taste testing. We have all the competitors. And what was so awesome is they were trying it and every single person chose ours against the top five different competitors that are on the market. And uh, it was awesome. So if you like chocolate, what all you can do is you can just add a little cacao into the vanilla and you can have chocolate flavor with it as well. If you like chocolate peanut butter, you can add chocolate and peanut butter, the cacao and peanut butter to the vanilla and it tastes amazing. It's super smooth, very rich. It's very, um, it's not chalky like most protein powders are. It's just so, you guys, it is so amazing tasting. And what's cool too is there's a lot of recipes. So when you do buy the protein powder, you actually will get some free recipes with it as well. So check that out. Okay, so that is the third secret, you guys, is to one, build a lean muscle, two, oxygen depletion, and three, making sure that you are fueling your muscles. You guys have an amazing rest of your day, um, and I will see you guys tomorrow.